this game, their big man, 32, was kind of controlling some things. I think he ended up like 7.7 .7 rebounds or something like that in the first quarter. What was so tough about him early, I and mean, what started to work well for y'all to take control down there and kind of phase him and his, his impact out? Yeah, well, I mean, first and foremost, he was pretty dominant. He was dominant for his size. You know, he was bigger, but, I mean, he was athletic and dominant and just, you know, nobody could get a body on him. But um, we made some second-half adjustments. You know, the locker room coach told us, you know, we got to get a body on him. Uh, somebody's got to box him out. And, um, you know, I think we did a better job in the second half of boxing him out and taking him out of the rebound battle. For, for I mean, you've got some height to you, but you don't have quite the same yeah. mass as he yeah. brings. But what you were able to do with Porter, an undersized guy, was able to do coming in there, and he ends up with double league boards yeah. as well. The team effort that goes into something like that for y'all, um, yeah. what can you say about it? Yeah, I mean, look, we do rebounding drills uh, almost every day in practice. So, um, you know, a lot of rebounding drills, get out there in practice. You know, we take it uh, we take it personally, you know, going to get rebounds. So um, that's something I think we like to do. You know, I don't think we did a great job today. But, I mean, you know, like you said, we had a couple guys get double digits. But, I mean, we needed to. When a couple of shots by Porter and then Isaac finally started to fall from the perimeter. How much did that open up some of what you were trying to do, finding some lanes to the goal? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, I don't really think, like you said, anybody was having a great offensive game. Um, and when they started shooting the ball well, it just, it helps us so much because, you know, I mean, they, they make us go. You know, when, when everyone's shots fall on, our team looks great and, and we win games. White Castle makes a hell of a run back late. Oh, yeah. And is able to take a one-point lead and I ask Isaac, you guys didn't blink. You didn't call timeout immediately. You come down and, and get a nice look for Alex on the baseline, yeah. and y'all get a steal on the other end. What's going through y'all's minds and y'all's communication at that point in the game to make sure that y'all answer quickly and, and not let things continue to snowball? Anymore? Yeah, well, I mean, we've been in that situation before. You know, we've had a couple of grinder games this year. We've had to grind out to the end. Um, so we've had a little bit of experience in that. You know, I don't think it should have been like that. You know, like I said, we didn't really have our best game. But, um, yeah, we've been in some grinder games all year. So, um, I think just the experience. Um, got a group of seniors that want to win, um, and I think we just did a great job with that. As much as you kind of pointed, you know, some of the shooting wasn't what you'd like to see and this or that, you have to win some games like this along the way. Oh, yeah. For y'all to continually show, especially during this run now, that y'all can pull out tight games and games when, when it's a little bit uglier than you would have liked, how big is that for y'all just continuing to go forward in the season and know you, you can pull those out? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. You know, we like I said, we got a great group of seniors, uh, five guys, and we, we, we want to win games. You know, we want to make a run in the playoffs. Um, we want to go, you know, it's only as far as we can take them, you know. Um, but like I said, just a great group of seniors, and we want to win games. So it, it really boosts our confidence, yeah.